Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who had a painful bunion for many years. Surprisingly, the bunion was not big enough to cause the pain. You see how the cysts sometimes can press on the nerve around the bunion to cause the pain. The bunion was not the cause of the pain after all. All right, we have Anita here. Hi, Hi Anita. Hi. Okay, Anita's here. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. So Anita has this cyst sitting here. She was wondering for a long time, right? You didn't know what it was for a yes. long time. And then apparently you have some pain on this bunion. So you're thinking it was bunion pain, but it possibly be cyst that's pushing on this nerve that's going right over top of this area. So we're going to try to get rid of the cyst and then see if her bunion pain gets better. I suspect that that's what may be going on. So I think we're going to do that, right, Anita? Yep, makes okay. sense. All right, so I numbed it already here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to puncture here and suck out all the fluid. And we put some medicine in there to plug up that hole that's leaking that fluid from the joint into this area. Usually it, the cyst can come from either a joint or a tendon. There's a little bit of fluid around the tendon area that can leak out. But a lot of times when it's around the joint like this, it most likely come from the joint. Some kind of a trauma might have caused damage into the capsule and that leaks out the fluid and your body's trying to get rid of it through packaging it to try to push through obviously, but cannot because it's holes too uh, small. <laughs> so that's what's going on. So, Interesting. Yeah, that's a long way of saying. Okay. So now I'm in there now, as you can see. As you can see, the fluid coming out. Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word cyst in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And then there you have it. As you can see, there's a little gelatinous material with a little bit of blood. So that's the cyst that's on there. So I'm going to squeeze that whatever left over out of that area and we're going to put medicine there to plug up that hole that's leaking the uh, cyst in the area. Sometimes you require more than one injection but a lot of times when I do this it goes away and won't come back. Hopefully that's what happens. Zero pain. Zero pain? Zero you pain. haven't felt or anything right? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Good. So we're trying to squeeze so out. Now yeah. So we can squeeze out some more of this stuff. And then I'm going to put some medicine there and I'm going to wrap it up pretty tight. And here's that medicine I'm going to put into that area to plug up that little bit of hole there. So that this will not come back. So that's what we're hoping to do. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure that all that medicine gets in there and does what it's supposed to do. I'm going to bandage it pretty tightly because I want I don't want that whole thing to be coming back. So I'm going to wrap this here pretty tight with the bandage and that's really all we have. And hopefully it doesn't come back. That's what we hope for. Yeah. Thank you, Anita, for allowing us to film you today. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. As you can see on this video, a large cyst can sometimes press on a nerve to cause a bunion pain. Once you remove the cyst, she was pain-free from the bunion pain she suffered for many years. Rarely do I have to remove the cyst surgically. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.